In this video, let's take a look at the ARA version of Vocaline 6 running in Pro Tools. Please check the SyncWarts website for more information on which versions of Pro Tools support this workflow. Also worth mentioning that although I'm using Vocaline 6 Pro for this tutorial, a lot of what I'm saying will also apply to Vocaline 6 standard. So let's dive in. Okay, so I have two lead vocal tracks over here. The top one is a female lead vocal and I've already done a quick pass with repitch. So I'm pretty happy with the tuning and definitely this is going to be the timing reference. Let's listen to the male and the female lead vocal against each other. I fight all your fire, carry your pain until it's lighter. If I could, I would cry all your teardrops, wash them away. Okay, so overall, not a bad performance, but as you can hear, specifically with the male lead vocal, we definitely have some timing issues, and we want to take the tuning from the female lead vocal, which I've already done, and we want to impart that onto the male lead vocal, which we can do with Vocaline 6 Pro. Okay, so in order to get started, I'm going to select both of these clips. We'll hold down the Shift and Option modifier, Alt on a PC. We will right-click and choose Vocaline 6 Pro Edit. So this automatically opens up a docked Vocaline 6 Pro window. Now we can close or open up this GUI simply by clicking over here. Also worth mentioning that if we wanted to undock this, if we wanted to have multiple plugin windows floating, we could do that. We can redock it simply by clicking here. So we've added Vocaline 6 Pro to both of these clips, but now we need to actually do some capture. The first thing I'm gonna do is capture the guide. Simply select this clip and we will choose the option to capture the guide. If you know the preset that you want to be applied ahead of time before you capture the dub, we can choose any one of the presets from here. Also worth mentioning though, that both Vocaline 6 Pro and Vocaline 6 Standard will use the last used settings as a starting point. So let's click our male lead vocal and we will just head over to the dub section and let's capture this. Now, as you can see, it's already rendered a result and we can instantly play this back. Let's have a quick listen. I'd fight all your fire, carry your pain, until it's lighter. If I could, I would cry all your teardrops, wash them away. So we already have a really, really great sounding result. Now with respect to the GUI, if we click this scroll bar, we can drag from left to right to reposition. And also we have drag handles if we wanted to zero in on a very specific section. Now, one small change that we have with Vocaline 6 Pro is that we have the ability to show or hide different panels for our processing, depending on what we want to see. So for example, in this case, if I wanted to just be looking at the match timing, take a look at what happens over here if I toggle this off for a moment. You can see how much this vocal was shifted to be time aligned with those settings. Let's bring the match pitch back in for a second. If we hop over to the pitch trace, Notice that we have the pitch trace of the guide track, which is a female lead, and then we have the male lead vocal pitch trace over here. Watch what happens if I disable the match pitch. And also, I can align this so that this is perfectly following the female lead vocal's pitch trace if I want to. Let's bring this back though, just a little bit, and maybe we'll back off this just a bit. So that is the very first step. We now have our lead vocals, and we can have a really, really quick listen to these. I'd fight all your fire, carry your pain, until it's lighter. If I could, I would cry all your teardrops, wash them away. Now, I really like what it did in this particular section over here. If you wanted to bypass either Vocaline 6 Pro or Standard in Pro Tools, we simply select the clip, we can right click and choose the option to bypass. Now we will be listening to the before. If I could, I would cry all your teardrops, wash them away. And let's bring this back in. If I could, I would cry all your teardrops. Perfect. Now let's move on to the harmonies. I'm gonna close the Vocaline GUI for a moment and let's isolate both of these two tracks together. We'll have a really quick listen. So we have two harmonies, male and female. Let's bring in our lead vocal. I could, I would cry all your teardrops, wash them away, lift you up higher. If I could, I would take your place. So now I want to use a brand new preset and a brand new process groups option that we have in Vocaline 6 Pro to deal with these harmony tracks. So to start off with, we're gonna do the same thing we did before, holding the Shift modifier plus the Option key on a Mac, Alt on a PC, we're going to right click and choose Vocaline 6 Pro and edit. 
So now this has added an instance of Vocaline 6 Pro to both of these clips, which we can see by this little icon indicated in the top right corner over here, but we still need to capture these. Now, one of the biggest requests that we've had from users is having the ability to have process groups in Vocaline. What this means is that we have one set of parameters that controls everything. With both of these clips selected, I'm going to head over to the drop-down menu in the dub section, and I'm going to choose new group for next capture. So we're gonna choose this option, and now you can see we have group one. In this case, we're going to be making use of the brand new smart pitch functionality that was also added to Vocaline 6 Pro. What this allows you to do is for anything that's a unison track, this will be time aligned and pitch aligned when using Vocaline 6 Pro. But also if it's a harmony, it will be time aligned and the tuning will be basically tuned to the nearest semitone. It's a really powerful preset and we will choose the option to capture. Now you can see if we right click, we have the option to select a different audio. We have our male vocal, which we use the initial settings that we already set up. And we also have our two backgrounds that we brought in both the male and the female version. And if I make any changes to either one of these, notice that that has been applied to both of these tracks. So a really, really useful way to work with groups. Let's close the editor for a moment and let's have a listen to all of these together. I'm gonna solo out all of the vocals and let's have a quick listen. I fight all your fire, carry your pain until it's lighter. If I could, I would cry all your teardrops, wash them away. Now we're working with ARA in Pro Tools, meaning that all of the processing that we're doing on these instances is tied to the actual clips. But it can be a really good idea to actually render your changes once you're happy with them. So in this case, I'm simply going to right click each one of these clips and then we have the option to render. So I can render each one of these just by clicking the option right over here, right click. And now we have simply applied the processing into the actual regions. And this is something that you could do on new playlists if you wanted to keep everything else backed up. Now we have the added benefit that we could do any adjustments in terms of making fades or adjusting clip gain. All right, so let's bring all the tracks in and have a quick listen to the before. I fight all your fire, carry your pain until it's lighter. If I could, I would cry all your teardrops, wash them away. So let's have a listen to our final results in context against this entire track. I fight all your fire, carry your pain until it's lighter. If I could, I would cry all your teardrops, wash them away, lift you up higher. If I could, I would take your place. So that's using Pro Tools ARA mode with Vocaline 6 Pro. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.